Hello my now Photoshop friends, welcome back to my tutorials. In this episode we're going to take a picture and we're going to turn it into a oil paint using only the, well not only, but using mainly the smudge tool. It's super fast, super easy, you'll like it. Even though it's very fast, I already have over here a layer that has the effect almost done. Just so you don't get confused, I just did it beforehand um, so you don't see me, you know, doing it, you know, the because we're going to be doing it manually you'll see okay so we're going to go and take the background layer we're going to make a new layer just so we can work on that not on the original one we're going to go to layer new layer layer be it by a copy so we can work on that we're going to take this much tool make sure this strength is in 20 percent make sure the mode is in normal to begin with and the side of, size of the brush um, is just basically going to be whatever you feel like it. Not that big, just uh, whatever it works for you. And so we're going to go and take the uh, mid-tones, uh, since we have the um, uh, smudge tool in normal, and we're going to just like pass through and kind of smudge the um, mid-tones in the picture. Then we're going to go ahead and change it to darken, and we're going to dark, we're going to smudge the dark parts of the picture make sure that you just don't just you know make any distortions on her face or your face or whatever face you're uh, applying the effect to and we're gonna take the uh, lighten and we're gonna do it on the um, light parts or the illuminated parts in the picture once we do that it gonna look something like this so we are almost done the only thing that we need to do next is to take, uh, we're gonna go to filter, filter gallery. We're gonna use the angle strokes, and basically what we're looking for is something to mimic the strokes of the um, oil paint thing. So direction balance is just gonna give it a balance of directions of strokes. So you are going to uh, do this um, after you uh, set the stroke length, which is not gonna be like this. This doesn't work. It has to be like you have to keep it on the lows, maybe like four works, five. Then the sharpness is what you're going to play with. If you want it super sharp, I would say like eight is all right. And then you uh, set up the direction balance just to make sure that the um, you want, if you want to see that the strokes go only one way or like different ways, whatever, you have to play with this and see what works for you. Once you are happy with how it looks, um, I'm going to take the sharpness, sharpness a little down. I don't want it too sharp. Once you're um, happy with what you have, then we're going to uh, you do the color um, grading. That is going to give it like that um, kind of like painting color look. So we're going to go to new adjustment layer, color, selective color. First of all, we're going to go to white and we're going to exaggerate the whites. So we're going to take it to minus. Um, so it looks more like a painting. Then we're going to go to neutrals. We're going to go to black uh, channel and we're going to, you know, kind of like make it more contrasty. And then in the yellows, we're going to make a little blue because that's, uh, in my opinion, looks more like a painting. Then... Uh, from here on out, you're just going to play with uh, whatever channels you want, colors you want. So you can, uh, you know, find a your, I don't know, the color grading that you like. I like also to go to reds and exaggerate it. And also yellow, because that way you exaggerate the um, the skin tone. And then from here on out, you're just going to like play with it and see what you like and how it works, what works for you and whatever. And so this is to me uh, finish. And that's it. I hope you like uh, the, um, the tutorial. I hope you like the effect. Uh, we are open to suggestions. If you want anything, just put it in the comments. And please subscribe if you haven't. And like the video if you like it. And I hope to see you in the next video.